Hello and welcome to episode 23 of my Salem tutorial series. This episode is going to be on making a clay pot, bark gathering and some making some soaked bark by boiling bark. But anyway, you will see all of that as we go. Okay, let's start by showing you our large urn. So in the last episode we put it into here. I told you it takes, uh, was it 20 minutes to fire it up? There is our large urn. Also notice, if I enable the display the claim, I've extended my claim west so it now covers the urn. So the urn, one, won't take damage, two, people will not be able to take the contents out of it, the natives that pass by. So my items are protected and also the kiln won't be damaged. Okay, now the kiln doesn't work like other items that when you pick them up they go in your pocket. So if I grab the brick it would go straight in my pocket. When you pick the urn up, notice you're carrying it. So now we need to place it. So to assist us with that, I am going to turn on the display landscape tool. And oops, I will then click grab and then grab the new claim area. Okay, so that's the total of my claim. And what I will do is I will place this first clay pot up here in the top left corner to show me where my claim starts and ends. So I'll place it just there. Now as you can see, it fits very nicely, a large urn, within one of the tiles. So there we are. Now if I right click the um, large urn, you will see we've got 14 slots whereas with the baskets they only had up to 9 we've now got 5 extra slots with the large urn now I know a few of you have been mentioning about the wooden box I'm going to get to that and I'll also be showing you why you will not be making wooden boxes unless of course you simply have no clay nearby but then eventually in another episode I'll be showing you how to get clay regardless of if you're near, near a clay deposit or not and I am not talking about the uh, lime trough I'm not talking about getting clay that way I'll show you another cool way of getting clay regardless of if there's none near you okay so there we are that's how you place your nice new large urns I will be replacing all of these baskets with large urns so I'll have m much more space to store my stuff as I am a hoarder also I may make an urn for my ashes who knows let's see okay next up let's start then by making a clay pot we will need to make a clay pot five clay so let's go dig five clay now over this side you can see the clay has been dug quite a bit but there's still a few spaces that I can dig it I'm sure let's dig just here and we need five clay notice our endurance going down as we dig we can learn another skill labouring to uh, well actually that's for dirt labouring but we can learn another skill so it doesn't chew up so much when we dig it might even be labouring but we'll see I'll check that in another episode okay so we have our five clay let's now go to tools and pots and pans and there we are clay pot left click that that shows us that we need five clay which we have so craft There we are, we now have an unburnt clay pot. Let's right click the kiln. It's still got some, so we're gonna to top the fuel up. Let's shift click that in. So it's now in there firing. Uh, next, what we'll do, we'll pick some branches. Takes a lot of branches to fill up the um, kiln, but it doesn't matter, because like you know, we have unlimited branches from the tree. So let's fill it right up to max. Don't worry if you pick too many branches, you can just drop them on the ground. That should do. 
So what we'll do, we we'll shift click the branches in. So they go in nice and quickly. And there we are. That's plenty to make our unburnt clay pot. The, an unburnt clay pot will take 20 minutes to fire into a clay pot. Now don't worry, I'm not going to make you sit there for 20 minutes while we wait for the clay pot. Instead, we're going to go bark gathering. It's a skill we learnt previously and it is something we need to do because there's many useful items to be made from bark. <clears throat> Okay, so here is a tree, a birch tree. That's how you recognize the birch trees. They look just like that. And what we will do, we will right click on the tree. Well, that one we've picked already, so we'll walk a bit further. And here's two more. We'll choose this one. Right click on the birch tree, left click peel bark. And you see? it peels some bark for us. What we'll do, we'll go over to this tree and we will peel two more. Because the, the pot can, fits in four items, but I'm going to be showing you not to fill your pot up and there's a very good reason why you do not fill your pot up with your bark and I will show you that. But first, let's go down here Let's show you the progress of the unburnt pot. Okay, so you can see it's got, can you see the grade area? It's a timer slowly coming around. It's going to take 20 minutes. Uh, we'll leave that uh, firing. Instead, what I'm going to do, come down here, click on this container, and there we have a clay pot already made. Good, eh? Saves you waiting for so long. Right, now, so what do we do with this clay pot? It's all well and good having a clay pot, but what good is it to man or beast? Well, I'll show you. The first thing we need to do with this clay pot is we need to fill it with water. Now, to fill an item with water, you need to go over an area. Let's turn off my deed, my claim. You need to go over an area like this. Okay, this is all shallow water. Left click your clay pot, right click on the shallow area. Notice now it says there are five uh, water, five kilograms of water in the pot. So we'll put it back in our pocket. We've now filled it up with water. Okay, now what do we do with it? Well, we walk over to our fire, check how much fuel. Yep, I've still got plenty. Now to use the pot with the fire, left click on the clay pot, right click on the fire. There, notice now that the clay pot is over the fire. Now, one thing to be aware of is, of course, this is not on my claim. So what I will want to do, now I've made my claim bigger, I will build another fire about here if I can, or, hit, or in fact, I'll build it here to the north, next to the tree, near the tree, but on my claim. So, but for the purposes of this episode, let's just show you what we're gonna do with this bark. Okay, so that's how you put the pot over the fire. Make sure you fill it with water first. To open the pot, right click on the pot and left click open. There we are, there's our pot. Notice it's full of water, which we can see on the right. Now we're not gonna fill it with four barks. We're only gonna put one in at a time. Why do we do that? Well, when we, this is gonna boil this birch bark. It will boil it and it will turn it into soaked bark. Now the reason we only do one at a time, okay, let's ask a question because I know some of you watching have been playing Salem a long time and I want to engage you just like I do in my worm series. Why have I only put one birch bark in there? Forget the fact that I'm stupid or mad or crazy or any other derogative names you care to think of. Why have I only put one in at a time? Okay, you've had time to think about it and answer. The reason is because if we only do one at a time, once this is finished boiling and turns into soaked bark, the water will turn into tannin. Now, if we fill it with four birch bark, 
it will use up, drain all of the water and we'll be left with hardly no tannin. Now tannin is going to be very important to us when we get on to later episodes regarding making leather. So what we will do is make one at a time and we will then empty the pot and I will show you all of this so don't worry but we will empty the pot into another container so we can start storing up the um, the tanning fluid okay so for now suffice to say we only do one at a time remember we can make 30 40 50 fires if we want and cook up loads your imagination is the only thing that will restrict or restrain you in this beautiful game now this is something that you're going to become fast aware of in Salem you don't do things in small measures you let your imagination run wild just like in worm but in a different type of way in Salem we, we can make 20 20 fireplaces and fill them all with just one pot and one bark and we can make tons of tannin at a time okay there we are points gotten across let's now check my notes to see what I want to say to you next okay so how long is this gonna take to cook well it will take let's have a look it will take 30 minutes to boil this um, birch bark into boiled bark let's show you some boiled bark so if we come over here right click on this container in 30 minutes time that bark birch bark that's boiling will turn into soaked bark now what do we do with the soaked bark well the soaked bark we are now going to put onto our drying rack right click on the middle of the rack so it opens up shift left click the soaked bark that now appears on the drying frame that is now going to dry now here's the kicker it's going to take eight hours yes you heard me correctly eight hours for this to dry so you're not going to be seeing this dry on this drying frame in this episode instead I will right click on this container and show you the end product. When that has dried out it will turn, turn into dried bark. Now why have we made dried bark? <clears throat> why have we gone to all this trouble to do all of this? Well there are many things that we can use dried bark for. Okay, One of the most important things of course is getting tanning fluid that is absolutely fantastic because I tell trust me when I tell you you are gonna need loads of tanning fluid there is an easier way to get it although this is quite easy so you know what I'm gonna make loads of it but anyway there is an easier way to get there there is another way to get lots at a time I will be showing you that in another episode and it will be a good one but for now there we are it takes 30 minutes to boil it into soaked bark you then put the soaked bark on the drying frame it then turns into dried bark okay now let's show you then making one additional thing with this dried bark now you've noticed that we are constrained with our skills and learning new skills and uh, getting the proficiency stats to learn these new skills and there are tons of skills for us to learn how deep does the rabbit hole go well keep watching my series because I'm going to be showing you every last cotton picking one of them and yes we are going to get to cotton farming I've not forgotten about it but you know what I realized I needed bigger containers and I needed to show you other stuff anyway I wanted to show you pottery it's a key element to the game is pottery right though let's make something with this dried bark now if we go to craft and if we go to inspirationals and if we go to toys you will notice there's one of my favorites one of my favorite inspirationals is birch bark origami and let's show you why so let's left click on it now this is something you are gonna need to make 
vast amounts of in the future to get up all the points because it's going to make this okay birch bark origami now you're saying to yourself wait a minute gamester you old lunatic it's showing that we need a bark fiber and that looks nothing like a dried bark it's showing us that we also need one birch bark which we have but we haven't got a birch a bark fiber oh yes we have because we right click on the dried bark and we then left click twine that now gives us two bark fibers so guess what we can make two birch bark origamis now that we have the components let's craft oh we need to be using the whittling bench so let's walk around right click that click craft <clears throat> excuse me okay we now have the birch bark origami why is it one of my favorites check out the stats above look at that all them proficiencies but the most important one for me I don't know about you but the one I like is herbs and sprouts because the progression path we're going to be taking later on we are going to need a high herbs and sprouts and this is going to help us power through herbs and sprouts getting the cap for our herbs and sprouts proficiency it's going to power us through getting that up providing we have enough inspiration of course because notice it requires 8500 per learning per studying so we're going to need lots of inspiration the good news is as we open up more skills our cap for inspiration is going to get higher and we will be progressing on to potions to increase our inspiration let it be said by no one not a single person that Salem is a slow game it is not slow not if you play it correctly if you play it correctly you can power through the game at a beautiful speed and unlock lots of wonderful skills yes they are going to get ridiculously high and yes it will slow to a certain extent but there's always ways to counter as I will be showing you in later episodes okay the last thing that I want to mention to you is that there are two types of bark there are birch bark denoted by the birch tree I showed you where we picked it from and there are also willow trees and you can pick willow bark so there's two types of bark there are many other items we will be using bark for but for now that is sufficient that I've shown you making this inspirational because, because you can see it's fantastic for getting all of them five proficiencies up I mean look at that nice stats for them five precision proficiencies wherever you are in the world God bless you and keep every last single one of you safe have a fantastic day and thank you for watching um, to mention what the next episode is, I haven't got a clue at this moment, so stay tuned. Goodbye.